There was yet another attack overnight on American forces in the Red Sea. Iranian-backed Houthi militants in Yemen firing a missile toward an American destroyer. It was shot down, according to the Pentagon. It's part of the widening war in the Middle East. It's been 100 days since Hamas launched a surprise attack that Israel had once dismissed as impossible and unimaginable. No, I got money. Overnight, Hamas released a video of three hostages, including Noah Argamani, who became a symbol of Hamas cruelty when she was kidnapped from a music festival and taken into Gaza on a motorcycle. The Israeli government says at least 100 hostages are still alive in Gaza. <laughs> the fate of the youngest hostage, Kafir Bibas, and his family remain unclear. Kafir, kidnapped along with his mother, brother, and father, turns one this week. I want this to be over, really. I want them back. I want them back. The 2.3 million Palestinians in Gaza have gone through 100 days of living hell since the Hamas massacre. Around 24,000 have been killed by Israeli strikes, according to the health ministry run by Hamas. Israel says it takes great care to warn Palestinians before carrying out attacks and says Hamas uses civilians as human shields. Gazans say since they can't leave the area, even while it's under attack, they are all, by definition, human shields. Dr. Noor al-Wahedi is one of hundreds of thousands of Gazans forced by Israeli troops to leave northern Gaza for the south, where people are overcrowded with barely enough food, water and medicine. 100 days of suffering, of tragedy, of a loss, of feeling afraid. Negotiators say that a deal has been reached for some medicine to enter Gaza for both the hostages and Palestinian civilians. Peter? Richard Engel on the ground for us in the Middle East. Richard, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.